Good morning. Welcome to the St. Matthew Baptist Church for our morning worship service. We thank God that uh, for this new day. Amen. 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 That God has graciously allowed us to rise this morning and go on our way. Hallelujah. Amen. With a reasonable portion of our health and strength closed in our right mind. Thank you, Lord. I don't know about you, but but I think about that. Uh, yes, amen. Sir. More and more as I get older that I, I heard somebody tell me, an <laughs> older lady told me not long ago that one of the, the things that she was most grateful for, that she was still in her right mind. Amen. Uh, amen. 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 Sometimes when, when everything is going well, we don't think about things. But I, I thank God because I see people. Yes, sir. Now we read about them, see about them all the time. Yeah. Uh, amen. That are somehow, some way have lost their way and become confused yeah. about life. Yeah. Amen. So I'm thankful to God that, that I have an understanding. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Of who he is and what it is I need to be. We, we're thankful today. Uh, uh, and our, our pastor is traveling today. Amen. And we, we thank God for him. So we pray for his and his family's traveling grace as they drive up and down the highway. Amen. Amen. We thank God for them. But uh, we're grateful this morning uh, that you are with us and that uh, the Lord God has has graciously allowed mm. us, yes. amen, to come together in this place that yes. we might give him honor, praise, and glory. Yes. Yes. Amen, because he is worthy of all of our praise. Amen. I, I wanted to, to make this one announcement to, to remind us that I think it's at 1 o'clock today. Amen. There will be a book signing in the fellowship hall, uh, yes. Sister Britton's book, Amen. That she has published. It is called It Only Takes Two When God Makes Three. All right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Talking about the promise of God to Amen. his children. Amen. 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 So uh, she will be in the, in the fellowship hall. Again, I think it's at one o'clock. Amen. Today. Amen. Amen. So we will give you into the hands of our music ministry at this time. Uh, then we will have a scripture and prayer and then we will hear from heaven. Amen. Brought to us today by none other than Reverend Elton Williams. Amen. 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 Our God is a good God. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen.
thing to, to be blessed but yeah. <laughs> if you only bless him when you're on the mountaintop uh -huh. then that blessing truly is in vain mm. so we must learn to bless him at all times yes, sir. Yes, sir. in all places yes, sir. from the most ordinary stuff that we take for granted yes. being able to as simple as being able to open a door pick up a spoon, mix something in a bowl, to be able to just walk a little bit, maybe not far, but you got to be able to give him praise for all of that. Otherwise, it's hard to get it up. And you can say it, but you don't mean it because you haven't had it before, but all of a sudden you have it. We're going to read from the book of Psalms, number 130th of the Psalms beginning with the first verse through the eighth verse. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, and that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Right. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his holy word. Amen. Let us. Turn our mind and thoughts toward heaven. Amen. As we bow, take a moment. Amen. For a word of prayer. Our Father and our God. Lord, it is once again that we humble ourselves before thy throne of grace. Recognizing, dear God, that it is only because you have allowed us the privilege. Amen. That we might come before you. Amen. Asking thee, O oh Lord, that they will have mercy upon us. Recognizing, God, that we all have sinned and come short of your glory. But you are such a loving God that each and every day you continue to shower down your grace and your mercy, your love upon us. So we take this moment, God, to, to say thank you. Amen. For all that you do for us. Amen. Sometimes I know we are neglectful in the things that we, we do and say, and we forget sometimes to give you your due praises. But right now in this moment, amen, if we have failed up until this moment, we take this time, amen, to give you honor, to lift up your name, the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that name that you told us, amen, is above all names. Amen. So we put him in his rightful place that he is first in our lives. Amen. Dear God, we, we, we come before you this morning as many but as one. Amen. For we all are your children. We all, oh Heavenly Father, even though we may deal with different situations in the end, it's all the same. 
We all need the same God. We all need the same grace. We all need the same mercy. So we thank you this morning. Amen. Because my problems may look a little different than someone else's, but you such a mighty God that you don't get my condition confused. Amen. You know what prescription, amen, that I need. Amen. So we come before you this morning with thanksgiving in our heart. We ask, oh God, that you would empty us, amen, of anything that is unpleasing in your sight. Amen. Replace it with your love. Replace it with the understanding that we need, that when we look up toward the hill, we understand that there cometh our help. So we pray this morning for all of those that are present, those that are under the sound of my voice. We just lift up our praises toward heaven. Amen. And, and, and we give praises to you because you have been so good to us. And we say that all the time, but it is not a cliche. Amen. It is true, deep theology. Amen. That we, we thank you for you have been so good. Amen. We thank you this morning. We lift up our pastor and his wife and our Heavenly Father unto you. We pray, God, that you would watch over them wherever they are, that you would give them traveling grace, that you would wrap your arms of protection all around them. Amen. Bring them home safely. Amen. Back to their destination. Then, our Heavenly Father, we pray that you will allow your Holy Spirit to come into this place to move freely. Amen. From heart to heart. Touch, your Heavenly Father. Supply whatever it is that you see that we stand in need of. Oh, Heavenly Father, open up our minds and our hearts. Help us, dear God, that we might remain resolute in our faith, that we might be steadfast, unmovable, amen, in our praise and in our faith and in our trust, amen, for in you we find all of our help. So we give praises to you this morning, dear God, and we ask that you would continue to be with us. We trust in your word, for you promised that you would be with us, that you would never leave us nor forsake us, and I am a witness Oh, God, that you would do exactly what you said you would do. Yes, so, Father, this morning we say thank you. We give you honor, praise, and glory. Amen. In the awesome name of your darling son, Jesus, the Christ of God, we do pray and ask it all. Amen. saints. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. I heard that song. I like that song. My mama loved that song. <laughs>
Father God, once again, we just thank you for your blessings of life, health, and strength today. Lord, knowing that we don't deserve it, but it was truly your grace and your mercy that touched us this morning. Yeah. Lord, we just come to praise you and lift up your mighty name. Lord, I thank you for my brothers and sisters, Lord. Lord, we never know who we might need, but we need everybody. So, Father, I thank you. I thank you for the love that you've shown today by touching us this morning, bringing us to your house of prayer. Lord, you knew exactly what we needed it, even before we got here. So, Father, we thank you. Lord, we just ask for a special blessing for our pastor and our first lady, Lord. Please give him traveling grace, Lord. Touch him where he might be torn down, Lord. You know everything about each one of them, Lord. So, we just ask you to protect them. Lord, we just ask for a special blessing right now for the sick and the shut-in. The ones that we haven't went to. Lord, we ask you just to watch over them and keep them safe. Lord, knowing that you are a healer, Lord. Knowing that you are a forgiver, Lord. Knowing that you are a lawyer. You are all those things and more. Lord, we just thank you. Lord, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart will be acceptable to you, Lord. That I may say unto your children what you told me to say. I give you all the praise, the glory. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. I thank God for his presence in, in all our lives. We, we can't do it without him. Uh, if you tried, you messed up. If you think you, if you, think you didn't, you, you must be a fool or an idiot. Because <laughs> God truly is present in everything that we do. There's a word from the Lord today. It is in uh, the Gospel of John, the third chapter. Just one verse. A verse that stands out that we all know and probably can quote all our own on ourselves. Uh, 3 and 16. A common verse. Good to see my brother here today. Thank you for the love that you showed me. Uh, bringing your little man. <laughs> it, it's truly a blessing to have family. Uh, that ain't blood. But they are blood. <laughs> Come on, you didn't even get that, did you? you? You might get that on the way home, but they ain't blood, but they are blood. Amen. Boy, I thank God for that. Uh, always will and always will be. Uh, if you got to say amen. amen. Reading from uh, Tony Evans' study Bible. He said, For God loved the world in this way, He gave His only, one and only Son. So that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Amen. May the Lord have a blessing to the hearers, but most of all the doers of his mighty word. Amen. Uh, just a thought that you can carry on maybe today and later on this week or somewhere down the line. He gave love. Amen. Amen. He gave love. He gave love. Uh, let me not leave out my little wife. <laughs> Amen. Uh, God has truly blessed me with her. Uh, how many times in your life in this society have you seen love given freely? That people didn't want anything in return. Uh, you know that society is going in the wrong direction. Uh, we have seen a lot of hatred. Not only in the past years, but in the last few years. More than ever. So my question is, where is the love? How many times have you given to someone that you knew that needed something and wanted it back in return? Just for instance, you know what we hold to value the most is money. How many times have you lent someone some money and didn't get it back in return? Uh, situation happens to all of us. Uh, we see them down the line taking care of their business 
and, and you know, uh, it, it happened to me. But the Lord touched my heart and said that he was broke when you gave him the money. Just like you was broke when I gave you my love. <laughs> he convicts us in situations to show us that we are truly have to be a Christian at all times. And not just when we think it's necessary for myself. He gave us love. Uh, I'm not talking about I love the way your hair look and I love the suit you got on and, 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 and boy I show sure love that food. Uh, I'm talking about an unconditional love. Uh, a love that loves me when I'm a liar. Uh, a love that loves me when I'm a cheat. Uh, a love that loves me when I don't even love love. It still loves me. That's the love I'm talking about that he gave. Uh, a love that looks beyond my faults and helps me to find my needs. Uh, a love that comes up with a solution and, and not a rejection. Uh, a love that gives me an answer that I may not want to hear, but it's the right answer. Uh, that's, that's the love that he gave us. He, he gave love that we as Christians should give to just people in general. Yeah. Uh, I was at work the other day and just rushing, trying to do some things and, and had a couple five gallons in my hand and a customer came up to me and said, could you please help me? Could you put those down? <laughs> in my mind, I'm saying, don't you see me <laughs> with these five gallons, but the Lord showed me I have to give love. That's my job. Uh, that's my job as a servant, not just as an employee. Uh, that's my job as serving you. Uh, I have to show you love, regardless if you don't want it. But I know you need it. Uh, because someone gave it to me when I thought that I wasn't even worthy of it. He sent his son, uh, his redemptive love. He gave it to me when I thought I was all that and more. But I was nothing but a filthy rag. When was the last time have you shown love? He gave us this love, which is a great value, knowing that we couldn't pay the sin debt. But he gave us love anyway because we knew we was broken and we had no way out. He knew that we needed to be completed because we were not at that time. He knew that our nature was sin. Uh, we're sinful by nature. So he wanted to change our character uh, because he knew that our love isn't patient. He, he knew that my love isn't kind sometimes. Uh, oh, come on now. Sometimes you mess it. He loved that my, my love is envious. Uh, you know you shouldn't have wore that suit today. He know that don't fit you in that dress. You know that's too tight. He, he know that my love is boastful. Uh, I, I, I try to uh, put, put myself over others. I, I say that I got more than what you got. We use our love in the wrong way. He, he know that sometimes my love is arrogant. Rude, yeah. self-seeking, yeah. irritable. Uh, sometimes we be like that, but we think we be doing the right thing, but we really be doing the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. But I believe love has something to say. Uh, it's not a sounding brass and a clanging cymbal. It's yeah. not just talking loud and saying nothing. Yeah. Um, but love is essential to our living. Amen. It tells me in his word, without love, I can't do nothing. <laughs> he said, trust in love with all thine heart and lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge love and it will direct thy paths. Now, some be looking at me, I, I got to tell you that God is love. 
Because some of you looking at me funny like I quoted it wrong. But, 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 but God is love. So he lets me know that he's in control of all things. In every situation, there should be love, the outcome. If we're going through a, a bad relationship, uh, 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 there should be love to mend it. If I'm, if I'm not sure about what I'm doing, I should ask love for the decision. Uh, because he left love to direct me. Uh, love called the Holy Spirit. He, 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 he gives me a way out. He, he gives me a, a testimony that I can say that I have help. You know, sometimes we don't want to accept help. Uh, we think we can do it all by ourselves. But I come to tell you, there's love. <laughs> love is absolute. You know, it was a man, he was doing some dancing. He said, you can't touch this. You can't touch love. <laughs> love is better than all things possible. I see in our text today that there was a man named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, uh, came to Jesus by night. Uh, he was seeking something that he saw other people had, uh, signs and wonders. You know how we are sometimes. Uh, we see something going on, you know, they change water into wine. He probably saw that or knew of that. And he might have been thinking, why didn't he do that at my celebration? But he, we all have questions. He had a question for Jesus. Can a man be born again? <laughs> Jesus replied, he had a question for Jesus. Say that the man came to him by night and said, Rabbi, you know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one could perform these signs you do unless God were with him. But Jesus replied, truly I tell you unless someone is born again. First of all, I guess my first point is that there are some undercover Christians. Uh, there are some Christians with that be here on Sunday, but somewhere else on Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there are some Christians that are going to fall and shout and roll out here on Sunday, but uh, they're going to be on Monday. Oh, come on now. You know what I'm talking about. He told me to trust in him with, all, with everything. He, he can supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. I don't need to scratch his name yeah, off. Yeah. Mm. There are some undercover Christians. It's some in here today. Mm. Can't wait to get to it. Mm. Matthew 10 and 33 said, but whosoever disowns me before others. We just own him in our actions. Amen. Uh, we think we're doing the right thing. Oh, I won 2000 I gave uh, 200 to the church. That ain't no good money. Oh, come on now. Okay, I know it's 10%. But how did you acquire it? There are some undercover Christians. We serve the Lord on Sunday, cussing everybody out on Monday. <laughs> he tell me that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. He will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory. Uh, I just got to make a note here. What goes on in Vegas don't stay in Vegas. It follows you back home. And so no matter how far you go, he's there. He say, when you ascend, he's there. He say, you know my thoughts, he's there. He say, I may go down, he's there. Even if I go up, 
he's there. So we got to realize that in our Christian living, in, our, in, in, in what we do for the Lord, it has to be consistent. He said, you must be born again. Yeah. He's talking about you have to be born unto the Lordship yeah. of Christ, yeah. keeping his commandments. Mm -hmm. uh, no one's perfect. Amen. Uh, uh, you won't do it 100%. Yeah. But he said, come unto me, yeah. all you that labor and are heavy laden, I'll give you rest. He said, when you have a problem with trying to keep them, yeah. he said, just come on back to me and I I can take care of you. Yes, sir. Uh, you have to have a fellowship. Yes, sir. Uh, a fellowship with the brethren. Uh, some people say that I can get church at home. <laughs> but let me tell you, t Hebrews 10 and 25. <laughs> he say, forsake not the fellowship as others do. Yes, well, we have to realize that I can learn from my brethren. Yes. They can teach me something. Yes. Uh, I've been dealing with this all this time, and they have overcame it so they can tell me which direction to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To be born again, I have to have a relationship. Right. Right. I have to have salvation. I have to accept the Lord as my personal Savior. Yes, I have to have salvation that yes, he will, his son will give me life yes, sir. because I'm dying. Mm -hmm. We're dying out here every day. But his love will give us life. Yes, I believe it does. Yes, all I have to do is trust in the Lord yes, with all thine heart. Yes, and lean not unto my own understanding. Yes, in all my ways acknowledge him. Yes, yes, yes. And he will direct my path. Yes, but, but I have to do not be conformed to this age, to yes, this world. Yes, yes. I have to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. I have to know what love is. Yeah. I have to know how to use it the right way, in the right context. Yeah. It says, so that you may discern what is good. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to show me what to do. Yeah. He's not going to leave me hanging. Right. <laughs> I can call on him in the midnight hour, and I don't need a telephone. Yeah. <laughs> All I got to do is think about it. And before I even get it out, he said, I already know. Yeah. He said, Good and pleasing, perfect will of God. God will show you with your love how to please him. Because God is love. You see, Nicodemus came to him by night. But it's the thing about Nicodemus coming, he had to wait to do that. We got to wait on the Lord. He will renew your strength. We'll mount up like wings of eagles. We have to realize that our power, our strength is in Jesus Christ. He had to wait on the Lord. And one of the hardest things we do, we know we're impatient people. Amen. A microwave society uh, is going to show up once you leave here and somebody driving slow in front of you. How impatient we really are. But all you got to do is wait on the light, <laughs> which is Jesus. You know, because a lot of things are going on nowadays. Uh, sometimes you just don't need to blow your horn. Yeah. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Uh, this is an open carry state. <laughs> People don't care about us. <laughs> you just got to wait on the Lord. God has supplied the solution. Waiting prepares our hearts to serve him. To say, wait on the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Lord has always strengthened us to see and go in the right direction. But the only way that he's going to strengthen us is by our faith. Yes. You know, it tells us that we walk by faith and not by sight. Right. Sometimes you just can't see it, you just got to do it. Yes. <laughs> but wait patiently. On the Lord. He said, be still in his presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. <laughs> Don't act on your own. <laughs> That's when we mess up every time. Yeah. When we think we're doing the right thing the right way. Yeah. Uh, I, you know how we are. We got two cents. You need to keep it and make a dime. <laughs> so it'll add up sometime. Yeah. He said, Don't worry about the evil people who, who are prosperous and fret not for evil doers. 
You know, we see a lot of things nowadays. A lot of people are getting money the wrong way. Oh, come on now. They want you to invest in this. They want you to invest in that. They, they, they call you on the phone. I, I heard a customer the other day, uh, it was an elderly customer, saying that somebody kept on calling them on their social security number. It's a lot of scams going on. The Lord will perfect, protect you from that as long as you trust in him and he'll give you the right direction. God will take care of you. He said he has, takes pleasure in taking care of his children. Isn't that something? Even when you're wrong, he said, I got you. <laughs> I, I knew you were wrong when you left the house. <laughs> I, I knew you weren't coming back home, but I got you. I know it's been many nights, and, and, and some, of my, some of y'all might not have went through that, that you didn't know how you got home. It was love that brought you home that night. It was love. It wasn't the song love. It was Jesus' love. And my third and final point, love conquers all. God gives us that unconditional love that regardless of the situation and the outcome, he's still there. No matter how many times, uh, I remember the disciples asked the Lord, how many times should we forgive them? He said, 70 times 7. So was he talking about a day, a month, a year, or a life? How many times should I forgive you 490 times? For me to trust in you again. That's how good God is. How many times has he forgiven you? Over your 62 years of living. That's me. <laughs> how many times have he, have he forgiven me more than 490 times? Yes. Probably when I was 18. <laughs> that number came up. I know it came up at 21. Because I thought I was Superman then. We had it going on. But God so loved the world. That he gave his agape love. That's unconditional. Regardless of what you think. How you feel. What situation you're in, he's still going to love you. Come on now. I, I, I know somebody might be, that don't make sense to you, but that's his nature. His nature is to love. You, you can't take that from him. No matter how you treat him, he's still going to love you. Because he wants you back. No matter how far you go out there, his arm is stretched out to show his love. He, it tells me in his word that his arm is not short. <laughs> so, that redemptive love that made us kind and not envious and not proud and not selfish, and patient and protective. I protect you because you're my brother, you're my sister. I take up for you. I ain't letting nobody talk about you. I don't care what you're doing. I still love you. You know, we look at people for the situation they're in. You could have been in that situation. I love you for who you are. You're my brother. You're my sister. Uh, love is such an influential word. There are many songs that were written about love. Love and happiness. <laughs> What's love got to do with it? <laughs> but the greatest song that I can say that I like about love is, I love the Lord. He heard my cry. He pitied my every groan. Long as I live, when trouble rise, I hasten to his throne. He gave us love freely. Didn't cost you nothing. All it did was cost love to go on the cross. He went on the cross, stayed there three long days. On that third getting up morning, he got up with all power in his hand. 
he got up with more power of love. Uh, we walked around. Uh, they saw him. They didn't even know love. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't recognize it to be so good. You be like, oh, man, no, that can't be love. <laughs> His redemptive love showed us this morning by waking us up. Uh, didn't cost you nothing but just to believe who did it. That's all he's saying. He said, just believe in me. Trust in me. I'll supply all your needs according to my riches and glory. He gave us love. Look at your neighbor and say, you look like love. <laughs> May God bless you. May God keep you. <laughs> Will there be one today that is willing to accept love as your personal Savior? He don't care what you did on yesterday. He just wants you to come today. Because he can do all things. Will be one today that is willing to accept God as a personal Savior from my Christian experience, my letter, but if you just need prayer, would you please come? God is able, God is willing no matter how long you've been gone, if you feel like you've been gone a long time, I'm telling you that you're on time for God. People might look at you funny, but Jesus is smiling at you coming into his house. I cannot make a word. Hold it in my hand. I cannot. And flash it across the land. I cannot take a piece of clay and mold it into a man. Oh, but I have a father. I have a father who can. Would you please come? And oh,
Thank you, brother. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. We see that no one came, but you can accept God at any time, any place, anywhere. Uh, he's always there waiting with his arm wide open. Amen. Amen. Let us stand, please. again, Lord, we just thank you for your blessings, Lord. We just thank you for your strength, Lord. We thank you for your love that you've shown us on Calvary's cross, Lord. Uh, your redemptive love that gave us an opportunity to live once again. Father, we just thank you. We raise you up, Lord, and lift you up, Lord, and give you all the praise because you're the only one that deserves it. So we just thank you for everything that you do for us, our family, and our friends. Father, may the grace of God and sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide in us. Until we meet again and let the church sing. Amen. Get somebody some love on your way home today.